everyone and welcome. Like so many of you, I like my house to smell good. We can achieve this many different ways. Um, you recently saw me make some wax melts. I also like things like, well, I'll just put some cedar branches in a bowl sometimes just for a little bit of that outside um, evergreeny scent. I just love it. Uh, sometimes a candle or in this case an oil lamp something just to add that little something extra but one of my favorite things to do I would say it's a newer favorite within the last year or so are diffusers this is a simple essential oil diffuser that I've made with some uh, essential oils such as clove cinnamon and nutmeg and very similar to the wax melts that I made recently. But for folks that may not want a fire, this is such an ideal solution. It's safe around children, pets, and you. And so if you're looking for something, just add that little something extra to your room, this may be it. So come along with me while we put this together. Welcome back. So to show you how I put that together, it is so simple. It really is. And I'll be very honest with you. There is a lot of price gouging in the industry of home fragrance. And I don't want to be a party to that. So I'm going to show you how you can put this together yourself or you can purchase them from me. I have not price gouged on these. You can compare them to the other prices on Etsy and you'll see that there's some of the people who are charging for uh, these uh, diffusers, 20 bucks. Well, I'm gonna tell you the truth. A jar like this cost me all of about two and a half dollars. Okay, and I buy these in bulk. So yeah, the bottle itself is a couple bucks, but I get these square bottles because they don't easily tip over. The round bottles I think are very pretty, but they tip very, very easily. And because this has, this is gonna have the reeds uh, you know stuck into it this could get caught you know by you or a, or an animal or a child and tipped over this is not going to tip over without a, a lot of effort kind of like a weeble it wobbles but it won't fall down okay anyway so there's the, the cost of that then of course there's the oil I use sweet almond oil uh, it really is it costly that's a relative term but I'm using in each diffuser probably less than 50 cents worth. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't done the math on this and I could do it quite easily. Maybe I'll do it, put it on the screen if I remember. <laughs> this is Everclear, which is 99. Uh, well, it's 90 proof alcohol. Uh, why do it? Why is that important? Uh, and you could use isopropyl alcohol. A high alcohol content, not the stuff generally sold at the supermarket. You want 91% or 99%, not the 70% that they sell in the grocery store for, you know, scratches and things like that. Anyway, the reason you add that, it helps the oil to climb up, as it were, and absorb into the reeds better. The alcohol kind of opens up the pores inside these little reeds which are hollow inside they have little tiny holes inside which I don't think you're gonna be able to see sorry uh, my camera is not the best but anyway there are little tiny channels inside there and the alcohol kind of opens those up and go, lets the oil travel up better it just works okay um, and then I have my essential oils here which are cinnamon nutmeg and clove this is for my warm spice one. I also make this in a Christmas scent, which is fir and pine and balsam essential oils. Um, then I'm doing another one called uh, winter mint, which will have peppermint and spearmint and just be real um, kind of perfect to have with a cup of hot chocolate to smell that nearby, I think. But anyway, I digress. So then I have just some ground up um, cinnamon, I'm sorry, cinnamon sticks that I'm going to use to color the oil. And that's it. 
So really this, I'm just adding my alcohol and my essential oils to my sweet almond oil. Giving that a good, oh, that smells so good. <laughs> You know, and this is the same mix that I used in my uh, warm spice uh, wax melts. So I'm also calling this warm spice. You really won't be able to see the label into it very well until I get this color. So now I'm going to get some of my cinnamon powder added in and get a. There we go. So just a couple of pinches, shouldn't take very much. And this is just to give it a tint. Oops. I just think for something called warm spice, it should be more of a sort of a brown color, don't you? And there we have it, our Warm Spice Diffuser Oil. You can't just stick the cork in and put it in a box. Even if you put tape over it, there are, there's a good chance that it could uh, come open in shipment. We sure don't want that to happen, do we? So let me show you what I have found works really well. All right, so here I have what I'm going to use to seal the top of this so the cork doesn't pop out in shipping. The first thing I'm going to do is take a sticker, just a one of my craft label stickers, and put over the top of the cork. That is so that the molten wax doesn't sink into the cork, so that the cork stays easy to remove. It's just a trick that I've learned that works well for me. The next step is to simply take the jar and dip it normally, but we're going to do this a little bit differently. So I have a little spoon here that has a hole in the bottom. <laughs> it's like a little sifting spoon. And this may seem a little messy. Let me try to get this where you can see it. Let me move the light over a little bit, over this way. Don't worry about the drips. Those will peel right off. I, and you could use just a regular spoon. I, this end would be less messy than this, but I find that this filters out anything that may fall into the wax, like a piece of cork, which has already happened earlier. There, right there is a piece of cork. <laughs> Let me get that out of there. And basically, that's it. So what this does, it seals the cork onto the bottle so that it doesn't pop off in shipping. I'm just gonna let this cool for a few minutes and then we will peel that off. But before we do that at even, we're going to take a stamp. If I didn't wait too long chatting, sit it right on top, wait just a moment, and peel it off. And now, it says Soapy Oaks Farm on top, and there's an acorn from one of my oak trees. Well, <laughs> a picture of one of the acorns, sort of. Anyway, once this is cooled, this is the great thing about it. It just peels right off. Then you can put this back into your wax to reuse for the next bottle that you do. 
it, it's easy. There's not much to this stuff. Uh, and I just think it adds a little something extra, but it's not for that purpose. The whole purpose of the wax, like wine and cheeses, it's to keep it sealed and protected. That's the only reason this is on here, is just to protect uh, the contents from spilling out of the bottle. Like so. And then when the person receives it, they can simply cut around the cork and pop it off or peel off the stuff and pop off the cork however they choose to do it. That is it. Pretty cool, huh? So next I'll show you how I box it up. Oh, and I didn't tell you about the wax. This is beeswax, carnauba wax, and some spinach and, let's see what would you, uh, yeah, sp dried spinach leaf and dried kale leaf for color. All right, so, let me show you how I'm boxing this up. So, because of this glass bottle, this is a heavy package, uh, meaning that it has to go through the mail. It can't go through the glass. The bottle and the contents, and just alone, this weighs one, one pound, one ounce. So, because of that, I do make sure Make sure that there's protection all around my bottle. And in addition, underneath here is some bubble wrap. So I do make sure that that glass bottle is secure in place so it doesn't bounce around and cramp it. Now if I can put it back here, there we go. So get the instruction card and inside I just put a simple uh, card to explain how to use the diffuser and there it is that's all there is to it not too complicated is it I had a lot of fun putting these together. I think they smell great. I think that they're a great addition to any room of the home. And uh, I've got these. I'm working on some other scents as well. The Christmas one I really love. It's, like I said, it's got pine needles, tall, fir needle, and balsam. It smells beautiful. Anyway, thank you everyone. I hope you have a terrific day. I know these videos, um, I've been just kind of few and far between, so I'm working at getting more content out to you again, trying to catch up on all the things I've missed uh, presenting to you recently. So I hope you enjoy. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you back soon. Goodbye.